Mike's delighted. Hello, we are here to talk to you about Bigfoot. We're, we're, we want to be part of Team Taser Bigfoot. And we're here in Pennsylvania. We're about to go check our Bigfoot trap. What happened was we, we found out that Bigfoot likes candy, so we decided to leave him one of these. Let's a Hershey bar. Happened. So we, we, we had this trap set out for a week or so. Um, and uh, he paid oh us God. back with a spark. It, yeah. Look at that. You know, in, in some know? regions they're, they're said to leave pine cones. But I guess the big foot here in Pennsylvania are very common to leave bark. Yeah, oh my God, look at this. This is evidence. Definitely. This is, I mean, look, you can almost see the, the teeth marks. Kitten, that's not human. There's no way. Oh my god. It looks like he just tore straight open. Right there. Does Bigfoot know how many calories is it? Do you think they like... Okay, well, we've got another one here. A placement bar. And we're going to leave that right here where the sticks are. We're going to we're gonna take these sticks away and keep them because we don't want the Bigfoot to think. That, we that, we're, the that we're intruding on this territory. We have to make sure. We want to make sure that Move we know off. that we like the best. Uh, so yeah. And hopefully that'll. Hopefully he'll be he'll be back. Here. And so. Now, let's try to discuss the call. The call? Yeah. Well, we, we haven't had to do any calling yet because of uh, the candy bar. And we didn't want to scare it away because we know that if you're too dominant with your call, you could you could possibly scare be attacked. We don't want to be attacked. We do not want to do that. Um, but uh, from what I've heard, it's much like chimpanzee. Or an orangutan, perhaps? A walrus? Yeah, a walrus. Why not? You think what's closely related to a walrus? Oh, if you think about it. No! It's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to another location over there, away from the candy bar. And we're going to try to call Bigfoot in. When we return to the candy bar, we're hoping that uh, there will be more, more sticks. And that the candy bar will be gone. Uh, now, ahead. we set up the other chocolate, and we're hoping to get something from Bigfoot. Yeah, some, some kind of response from Bigfoot. We've heard that the Bigfoot's big feet, they move through this area. So, when you're hunting Sasquatch, you don't want to be too, too close. close to your bait. You could scare them away. So, what we're going to try is what, what we've got is uh, a trumpet here, and we've... Uh, We've selected Bigfoot's favorite color. Yeah, Bigfoot's favorite color is green. We figured this out because Bigfoot's kind of like... Green and, green. and you know how a bull is, is like it's enraged by red? red? Well, we figured that green, being the opposite of red, more or less, would uh, make Bigfoot feel festive in a holiday sort of way. So, uh, I'm just gonna... Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Young Bigfoot researcher at work, passing on the mantle to the next generation. If we in this generation cannot find Sasquatch, this next generation of brave, brave hunters will will hopefully be able to. So, uh, well, norm normally we'd be doing what's known as call blasting, which is where you get a speaker and you get some recordings of ape noises. 
when you play them, but we figure Bigfoot's probably more related to us than he is to like chimpanzees and gorillas, so we thought uh, our vocalization should be able to attract him. Now, should we check it back on by Um, I don't know if it's if it's been it's long safe. enough. We don't. We Bigfoot don't is very skittish, and we don't want to disturb him. And we don't want him to come charging at us and kill us. Right, right. Bigfoot could probably snap you in half, as he often does to tree branches. And, and twigs. So um, we're gonna just wait a little while. We'll catch back up with you later when we check our bait. Okay, uh, we're back. Team Taser Bigfoot. It's been a little while. We we're about to go check the check trap. The but before we do that, we wanted to try what's known as uh, wood knocking. It's a primate thing. They, they do it in the wild and it's, it's been known in Bigfoot research for a long time. So what you do is you find any 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 two pieces of wood and you uh, you bang them together like this and you gotta you gotta make sure you get the sound to carry because uh, if you're not it's in there the sound carries and they consider this a form of, of communication and uh, we're gonna see if we can get anything. We can. You want to try? Yeah. Just, uh... I know how to... How... Okay. You can listen up really easy. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh. oh. oh something through a stick. Some places they, they throw rocks. Yeah, they throw sticks. Yeah, they <laughs> Zoom in. Zoom, zoom in on that. <laughs> I think I think we have a, we have a definite sighting here. We have a definite sighting. Okay. I think. I think we need to leave this area because he we could get he could get kind of mad. Toy. Yeah, he, he we don't want him to charge. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut. <laughs> we're gonna cut. We're gonna go down to our trap and check it. Before we get mauled. Yeah, we don't want to get mauled, and we we also don't want Bigfoot to leave this area. All right, let's go. Checking our trap. Look at that. It's just like the other one. Evidence right here. Um, he, he never. He seems very ecologically minded because he always leaves us the wrapper so that we can throw it away properly. Yikes. More. More bark. Uh, hey, look, we got a fridge. We got a fridge. We got, oh my god. Is it, that is definitely no. You can see the mid the, the, the tarsal break right here. Impossible to fake. And the that is one big. Nobody could ever fake that. That is big. That is definitely. That's we're talking about a creature maybe 500 pounds. Maybe. Or more. Yeah. More. The, uh, the up up to this up upper seven normal. eight feet. Nobody ever, no, nothing human could do that. This, this may have been hopping on one foot because as you can see, nothing. there's only one real impression here. Maybe he lost his footing. This, this is incredible. So we're, Amazing. Well, we're just one step closer to being able to taser Bigfoot, to, to being able to get in there with, with the other big, big feet and the other Sasquatches and 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 maybe taser them. We bring one back for science. Science.